In the heat wave that you might remember in 2018, almost 70% of Scotland's rivers showed temperatures that would have caused significant stress to Atlantic salmon. So if we don't act now, it'll be too late. When I would come up here as a child and we would fish, you would see fish jumping here the whole time. And the river is very quiet and the biodiversity consequences of that are catastrophic. When you've got no tree cover and you've had no rain, the river gets very low. The impact of the hot climate is accelerated. The juvenile fish are forced into smaller and smaller areas. There's less and less food for them. There's more impact on predation. There's higher stress levels. The trees thing is pretty straightforward. It's a very simple concept. Trees, shade, food coming off the trees. You've got cooler water, more nutrients. The juvenile fish are going to do very much better. The Kyle Riverwoods project is about communicating our vision for restored and resilient river systems. We're a small charity, we want to work with others in the catchment to encourage them to restore their riparian environment and in this case we're planting trees but also the landowner has established a, a deer management plan here so if we can reduce browsing pressure then the trees are perfectly capable of naturally regenerating. We've got 8,000 trees over roughly about three kilometres and four hectares, stretching along the river and its tributaries. We've got species from alder, hazel, willows, birch, and we're planting all along the riverside to hopefully contribute to helping our salmon in those rivers. If you plant a tree in the ground, you have to have hope. And when you step away, that goes to your community, that goes nationally, and that goes globally. So yeah, for me, let's put trees in the ground. The economy for us here is seven months long. So if we lose the March fish, you lose that month for the hotels and everything. We cannot afford to lose a month or six weeks off either end of the season getting some broadleaf trees in in the high altitude areas is something that we can do quite quickly. It all adds up at the end of the day and it all helps to build the corridor of trees you know joined up for everything. What we've done is we've established these uh, 60 meter wide riparian buffers throughout the forest and we're gradually working our way through them establishing native woodland. The generation of foresters that, that I belong to, which started in the, the sort of late 80s with many of the old practices, have found ourselves in a period of transition. We're taking these great conifer blocks and we're restructuring them in a way that will hopefully encourage far more, by the way, biodiversity, certainly much more in terms of tree diversity. A lot of it depends on the kind of pressures that we face when we go to individual sites. Sometimes that can be deer, sometimes it can be voles, sometimes it can be climate. The forest planning process is, is vital in that. And we work together with other teams in Forestry and Land Scotland, such as the deer management team, to determine exactly the sort of best mixture of protection. It's tempting sometimes to think that we're up here in a quite remote part of the forest, it's just a little water course that maybe doesn't have that big an impact, but the cumulative impact is really quite significant. Within the Kyle Rivers project, we're going out to corporate funders, to landowners, and we're raising money ourselves within the charity to try and bridge that gap to get people started. So I think what we've found through our land management processes and, and through subsequently delivering a lot of this stuff is that, you know, once you've made the decision to do it, it's really not a complex operation. And, and I would certainly encourage other foresters and, and land managers to consider the riparian zone and their impact on it. If you've got it right for salmon, you've got it right pretty much for your whole ecosystem because they are the bellwether, they're the canary in the coal mine for whether we've got it right. If you've got healthy populations of salmon, then your whole ecosystem is in balance.